What's up everyone? We are at uh, Hitch Fit here with Maurice. He's an online client of ours. Um, first day he started at 255 pounds, around 15% body fat. Uh, his, his stomach measured somewhere around 39 inches. Today he's 215 pounds at 8% body fat, 33 and a quarter and a, and a half inch with a 40 pound drop. He dropped 7% uh, body fat and five and a half inches off his stomach. So take us back to day one, man. How did you get to that point? How did you find us? Uh, you know, why was why was that time the, the time to change? Well, I was always kind of curious on how I look if I got ripped. Yeah, I wanted to always get ripped. Just once in my life, I need mean, to get to that <laughs> yeah. point. Uh, I've always lifted weights, but I ate whatever I want. And I never got the results that I quite wanted. Sure. Uh, so, working for the police department, we saw a lot of people go through their transformations, and Hitch Fit became the big thing, <laughs> yeah. the end thing in the police department. So, I figured I'd give it a try. I came in here, spoke with you for a little bit, told me that you can get me on the path that I wanted to. Yeah. So, that's why I went the way that I did. That, that's great, man. And, and you, you know, obviously your numbers speak speak huge but you know um how, how are you feeling you know most importantly you know just waking up day to day your energy levels just mentally you know spiritually everything um it's a huge improvement before i had a huge problem i hated running long distance when you told me i had to do more cardio You're like, really oh. cardio because i'd run and my knees would hurt my feet would hurt my shins would hurt and once i started losing more weight I could run a lot further, a lot faster. Yeah. I just kept increasing, increasing, pushing my limit. And uh, it feels great. When I wake up in the morning, I feel great. My back doesn't hurt like it used to. I feel like a lot of uh, pains that I've had sure. have gone away. Awesome. Muscular pains and skeletal pains. Yeah. They're all gone away. That's now, great. So that's feels great. That's great. So so what, what major changes did you make through your transformation? I mean, a lot of people, you know, um, that, that uh, aren't necessarily going through a transformation but want to go through a transformation, they don't understand the level of dedication and discipline that it takes to do it. I mean, what, what, what changes did you make that you, that you needed to make from day one? The hardest part, the biggest change for me was the whole diet plan. Sure. Um, I had my wife agree to it. She was on board, which is a big thing. Sure. And we went to the grocery store, we stocked out the fridge and the freezer with all the foods that we needed. And she would help prepare the foods for me. Yeah, that's and I just excellent. had to start taking them to work. Yeah. And get in the habit of taking things to work because I like to buy food on sure. the network and sure. just eat on the go. But so I had everything packed and ready to go and that was the biggest thing. Working out wasn't a problem, I could yeah. get those in. Sure. Uh, I had a little bit more structure, a little bit more change in my routine sure. and everything. A little bit more accountability. The diet is the part that yeah. Really got me. And you had during your transformation, it went a little bit longer than 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 uh, than we had initially planned. But you uh, you had you had gone down to Joplin for the relief Correct. down down there, and so uh, you didn't have. What was interesting is you had all the structure and control in the world when you were here, mm -hmm. and then you were put into a situation where you didn't have that same structure. Right. How did you deal with that? Well, that was a hard part. Yeah, uh, that came a little bit later on in my. Uh, transformation process. So at that point, I was already observing foods, I'd read the back labels, sure. try to see how much sodium, how many sure. calories, how much fat, you know. So I can level it all out so I know I'm putting something good in my body. Yeah. But when I went down to Joplin, none of that was really available, but yeah. they did have meat that they were barbecuing sure. for, the, uh, for the helpers. Sure. So I would just grab meat with no sauce <laughs> yep, and yep. try to just take in as much yes. protein as possible and I just had to deal with it. I didn't have any veggies to work with and so I had to step up my cardio and really did, work out. did you feel it too? Did you feel the, the differences while you were there compared to when you're here? I did. I felt, yep. I felt a little bit more sluggish. Yep. Uh, just eating those type of foods. It, it kind of just threw the whole routine off, and yeah. I, I knew that something wasn't quite right. Yeah. So when I got back home, I had to really kick it back in the gear. I always, I always tell people because when, when we start eating healthy and living that lifestyle, even taking sometimes a weekend off or something, or, or, or a few days, you end up really feeling it. You know, I'll get a lot of emails and like, man, I just feel sluggish. I'm tired. I, you know, I got to get back on the game plan. You know, so. Right. It's interesting to see your 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 take on on you know being off a week there, two weeks there, that where where you didn't have the control. So, Maurice, from this point forward, what what are your major goals? What are your future plans? What do you want to do? 
I want to continue eating the way that I am. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> Of course, I've been having a certain craving for a slice of pizza. <laughs> go have a piece of pizza. <laughs> they don't plan on having it, but then I'm going to go yeah. right back to the plan. Sure. Uh, I would like to actually uh, shake myself a little bit more. Yeah. I wouldn't mind stepping stepping into the realm of competitive. Awesome. Bodybuilding of some sort of just like the muscle model. Type yeah. Yeah. Thing. Absolutely. But you know, I made it this far. Uh, I impressed myself with it. So I'd like to see you go from how good to great. Yeah. You know, and once you go from good to great, then it's a lot more dedication. You're going to be emailing me every day, going, "Dude, <laughs> I'm tired of tilapia, man." <laughs> you know, right. but uh, you know, comp, comp prep's a little bit different. But you know, I think the, the the most important factor that you need to have, obviously, is other than the support system and the preparation, is just being mentally prepared and focused for it, uh, making it a top priority as you do with your transformation, but even even more in comp world, because it's every single choice you make, you know, going to bed a little bit earlier, waking up a little earlier, just responding to how your body's working. So, um, anyways, man, you uh, you did you did absolutely awesome. Do you have anything that you can say to anyone out there that may be, you know, in, in your situation day one that, uh, that you can give them some words of inspiration to, you know, follow on their journey, regardless if it's with us or, or on their own, just what, what can you say to people out there? Uh, I would just say, you know, just believe in yourself. Yeah. Just know that you can actually go through this and anybody can actually do it. Yep. Uh, it just takes a level of dedication, effort on your part. And then, you know, if you got an awesome trainer like Mike here, <laughs> keeping up with you on the emails. With me or without me, you know. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be pretty yeah. awesome. So. Maurice, man, you did awesome, awesome work. Uh, we're obviously always here for you. I plan on seeing you in, uh, in, a, in a couple more months when you when you give me that email of, uh, all right, man, I'm ready to get on this stage and do this. So you may see him at WBFF Muscle Model Kansas City next year. Uh, Maurice here. So thank you again, man. I'm very, very proud of you. You're going to inspire a lot of people. Hey, everyone, thank you so much for, uh, for following us here. Check out Maurice and uh, his continued success. Uh, check out hitchfit.com. Thanks.